good morning students myself dr vijendra shiktawar associate professor in in english presently i have been posted at gorbit college kutha the dhunno district in the series of video lectures which is being prepared by me today's video is meant for the students of english literature of class b part second paper first and the topic which has been discussed in this video is the critical appreciation of the famous poem of nisim askil entitled night of the scorpion and this is one of the most famous poem of nisim askil and it is prescribed in almost all the universities where nisim askil is taught so first of all let us learn something about nisim askil from the name it appears that nisim askil is a foreign poet but it is not the fact the fact is that he is an indian poet he was born in 1924 and died in 2004 he was born in maharashtra mumbai and he spent his early childhood in the company of hindu boys so there was a impact on his mind about the hindu philosophy or superstitions of that area he was an indian jewish poet he was also an actor playwright editor and art critic he is respected for his contribution in english poetry particularly indian english poetry and he is regarded as the foundational figure in post colonial india's literary history specifically for indian poetry in english he was a prolific writer he has written many poems he has published many anthologies and in in 1983 his anthology later day psalms was honored with the award of sahitya academy award by the government of india he happens to be one of the most productive talents prolific writer he used to write too much and most distinctive poetic personalities of modern india is he established his own identity having produced seven volumes of poetry to date he is acknowledged by all and celebrated by everyone as an established indian english poet of the post independence era besides this once beside writing poems and he published them about besides this he has written a large number of poems published in literary journals and magazines from time to time he is a man of very taste and interest and preoccupations besides teaching poetry and prosody at the university of mumbai or now it is mumbai he is also edited in number of literary journals wrote reviews let me make you clear that uh, during his lifetime he joined university of bombay at that time bombay now it is mumbai department of english as a lecturer and he got his retirement from the as a as a hod as a head of the department of the department of english of university of bombay in 1992 he spent his life there and he also wrote reviews of many famous books in a word we can say he was a versatile genius now let us come to the of the poem the poem which has been entitled night of the scorpion is regarded as one of the most famous and finest poems composed by nisim askil it was published in his anthology of poems entitled the exact name in 1965 and this is the poem which is admired by all the critics 
who happened to read it. This poem depicts a common Indian situation. It reads like a story. The poet narrates an incident of his mother was stung by a scorpion one night when it was raining heavily. We can say the poet describes an incident. What happened that it was raining heavily from the day and at during the night his mother happened to visit the kitchen and she was bitten by a scorpion. What happened then? This situation has been described in this poem. The description of the incident is perfectly realistic and natural. It shows that Ezekiel is a very Indian poet, rooted in the Indian soil and acutely aware of the common human situations of day-to-day -day Indian life. It is a brilliant narrative poem. The poet has described the incident or narrated the incident in a brilliant manner, very effective manner. The speaker might be the poet himself or an imaginary one. Both can be acceptable. He narrates that most probably we think that it is the poet. The poet narrates the incident he says that his mother was stung by a scorpion one night. His mother was bitten by a scorpion one night. It had been raining continuously for 10 hours. Before that incident, there was continuous rain. The scorpion had itself beneath a bag full of rice. He has hid himself under a bag of rice. But it chose to come out into the rain once again to discharge the poison in its tail. We should remember the fact that a scorpion always bit its victim through its tail, by its tail, not by mouth. It stung his mother. After stinging her, the scorpion had swiftly moved away from there and gone out into the rain again. It appears that the scorpion was very intelligent and he knew if he stayed there, he would be killed. So he took the risk going out in the rain, but left the place. The pigeons in the neighborhood on learning it came in large numbers. They came to express their sympathy and to relieve her pain if they could. They started praying to nullify the effect of the scorpion sting. They were simple, well-meaning people. The pigeons, they had certain beliefs. They believed that if they will pray, her pain will reduce, will decrease. They believed in the efficacy of prayer, that prayer could paralyze to or make ineffective the harm caused by the scorpion, the symbol of evil. They searched for the scorpion with lanterns and candles, throwing giant scorpion-like shadows on the walls. They believed in the superstition that scorpion must remain motionless so that its poison could not cause further harm to the lady. So they wanted to kill it, but they could not find it. The idea is, or the what the poet wants to say through the, that the neighbors who came to relieve the mother from the pain, they had certain beliefs, faith. They, some of them said that if by their prayer, the scorpion could remain at one place, the poison will not move in the body of the mother. They also said that the pain which the mother is experiencing that day will decrease her pain in the next birth. Or if she had committed some sins in the past birth, it will be balanced by her goodness. They expressed these ideas or these concepts and it appeared as they were full of understanding. They were the most intelligent persons. Anyway, 
more neighbors came and joined the ones who were already present there. The woman was feeling the acute pain. She was turning her body this way and that way because of pain. She was not uh, able to get any kind of relief. She was groaning all the time. She was crying because of pain. The rain continued and the women continued to suffer. The sense of swift pace of versification. See, the poet has said what he might have said in one page, in two lines. More candles, more lanterns, more neighbors, more insects, and, and less rain. The idea is more and more people came, more with lanterns, candles, neighbors came, and so throwing shadows like insect on the sun baked wall, and rain continued. Rain did not stop. The mother hoisted through and through, groaning on a mat. The mother was feeling very pain and she was convulsing. She was crying because of pain in on the mat and she was surrounded by all the neighbors there. The speaker's father was a man with a scientific attitude to life. He, did, he was not uh, like uh, the villagers. He was a different person. His ideology was different from that of villagers. He applied a herb to his wife's too. He even poured a little paraffin, that is wax, upon the beaten to and burned it to burn out the poison. The speaker was the flame with interest. Father adopted a scientific attitude he put certain wax and burned it. He hoped that it the burn the fire will burn the sting of the scorpion also. And the speaker, that is the poet, was watching everything with interest. He also watched the neighbors who were performing certain rites to subdue the poison of the sting. There was a holy man who was chanting certain mantras so that the effect of the poison will reduce. He, at the end of, of it all, the speaker's mother thanked God for allowing the scorpion to choose her for the sting and for not allowing the scorpion to sting any her children. Then so this continued for 20 years or 20 hours and after 20 hours, the mother became normal and after becoming normal, so the first thing she did, so her reaction was, shows that she was an Indian mother. She thanked God because scorpion chose her, bit her, not her children. This is the, you can say, uh, incident which has been described by the poet. Now it's appreciation. The syntax, that is the arrangement of words in the sentence and the grammar of the lines in the poem are straightforward. And the voice we hear is obviously the poet's sound. It is clear that it is the poet who is describing everything. The imagery is vivid, that is very clear and sensitive with more than usual clarity as in parting with his poison place of diabolic tale in the dark room, he risked the rain rain again. Here the poet gives certain attributes of human beings to scorpion. That scorpion came and in the flesh of gleam it bit the mother and again went into the rain outside of the kitchen. The pigeons came like swarm of like large number, swarm group, large gathering and but uttered the name of God a hundred times to paralyze the evil one. Evil, the scorpion, which is a symbol of devilish power. With candles and lanterns, the same thing is repeated and very effectively expressed by the poet. The similes are notable. Throughout the poem, the poet deliberately, that he willingly withholds his own emotional coloring. Means he does not uh, describe his own emotion. He describes what he sees. He narrates. He is not an active participant in the incident. 
is just a narrator the poem is contrast between the superstitions view of the neighbors and the realistic attitude of the father of the speaker the two attitude are placed two attitude are placed in juxtaposition in a balanced position so that they can be they can be understood compared in the passage below see my father septic rationalist his father was not a superstitious person he was non believer and he was a logical thinker he even poured a little paraffin that is wax upon the beaten tube and put a match to it i was the flame feeding on my father this is very simple language and so the uh, so, uh, these lines show the attitude of the poets also i was the holy man perform his rites to tame means control the poison with an incantation the poet's emotional detachment poet is not uh, involving himself in either with mother or father let the situation speak directly to us the entire poem is built on irony which which is its climax in the last line my mother only said thank god the scorpion picked on me and spared my children these three lines shows the attitude of a typical mother indian mother who is so all giving personality that she is ready to suffer for the sake of her children in any situation the poem is written in the free verse that is blank verse it has its own rhythm as the reader goes through the poem he experiences the pleasure which comes from a rhythmic flow of words moreover the poet doesn't follow the unusual practice of beginning each line of the poem with a capital letter so it is usually the traditional poem we see that the first letter of each line of the poem is capital but this is not followed in this poem by nishi vaskil he has used the simple language of everyday speech moreover he has used the diction which is even understood by layman the poem casts an indelible impression on the mind of the reader we may conclude that the poem night of the scorpion is one of the creditable achievement of nishi vaskil means of which he praised for the he should be praised the narrator begins it dramatically it grips the attention of the reader the reader cannot think outside what the author has given or the poet has presented before the reader it appears in a simple narration of certain happenings the happenings are of an ordinary kind and the narration is almost prosaic like prose and yet the poem has a deeper layer of meaning and significance which shows the imagination of the poet and which also demands an exercise of the reader's imagination it is also expected that reader must also show his own imagination so that he can understand the whole situation in a very effective manner a vein of irony runs through the whole poem through the poet has a serious purpose in writing his account of the happening means the poet has written this poem not just for the entertainment with a serious purpose he wants to give a message to the reader and he has successfully given that we can say in a word the poet has achieved his purpose in a masterly manner and very impressively thank you very much